So, if we wish to be finally released and liberated, let us learn to cut off our wills, and thus make in progress little by little, by the grace of God we will achieve passionlessness, for nothing so benefits one as to cut off his will, indeed one advances thereby in nearly every virtue, and like a man who walking on his way, and finding a shortcut to take, bypasses a large part of his trip, such too is he who walks upon this path of the cutting off of one's will. For by cutting off one's will, one attains to dispassion, and from dispassion, by the grace of God, there comes about complete passionlessness. A person can, in a short period of time, cut off ten desires, and I will tell you how. He takes a short walk and sees something. His thoughts say to him, Look here. And he says to his thoughts, No, I will not look. He cuts off his will and does not pay attention. Then he encounters several people gossiping, and his thoughts say to him, Say something too. But he cuts off his will and does not speak. Again his thoughts say to him, Go over and ask the cook what he is cooking. And he does not go, but cuts off his will. Or again he sees something and his thoughts say to him, Go and ask who brought that. But he cuts off his will and does not ask. In this way, little by little, cutting off his will, he becomes accustomed to doing so. Beginning with small things, he reaches the point that he easily denies himself things of greater importance. Thus he comes to have no will at all, rather whatever befalls him brings him peace, as though it came about by his own will, and not wanting to do his own will, he finds himself always doing what he likes, since for one who does not wish to do what he wills, all that occurs is to his liking. In this way, he reaches the point, as we said, that he has no passionate desire, and by virtue of his dispassion, comes to passionlessness.